Hey everybody, Mitch Blackfoot Anthony, and we're back at the world famous Carolina Opry in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I mean, this place is great. It's grand, it's big, it's, they've done renovations to it. They have stages that move around, PA systems that'll make your, your toenails cringe. But anyway, today we're here to talk to the music director, Kevin Hughes. I had a couple of gigs with this man in the past, and he's a bad man. He could play bass, piano. So he was a professor at the college and graduated from college at the same time. It's, it's, it's crazy. This guy is great. You're going to love him. This is Mitch, and this is Signature Licks. Let's see what he's up to. Kevin, you, Kevin, how you doing, buddy? Come on in the Good house. Good to see you. Yes, Good to sir. see you, man. Welcome. This place is great, man. Thank you. Yeah. Looks like a lot of history. I just got it paid for. You got it paid for? <laughs> really? No. This place? That's awesome, man. Now you can go have that operation. And... Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this place is great, man. Uh, Carolina Opry first started in Surfside? Yep, 1986. 1986. And that's... That was a while back. And when did they move into here? They, uh, this place opened June of 92. Did they have this built? Yep, exactly. Yeah, he made okay. unprecedented success down there in Surfside. So oh, yeah. Great, yeah. Last, yeah. Early yeah. You got place. concession stands, uh, a two souvenir, downstairs, two, two, two downstairs and two upstairs right. concession. Nice. If people will really get hungry, and it's always better Michelle, to, how are to you? look at a show. Hey, Michelle. Hey. How are you? Hey. Don't mind hey. us. That's it. Can I get a large popcorn, please? Yeah. Best popcorn no, just around. Get, in about 20 minutes. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, everybody seems to be friendly here oh, at the yeah, Carolina it's, Theater. It's, it's a big family. Yeah? It's a family-owned organization, and, and that, that just permeates every bit of the, the Nice. So what, what's, what's the family's called? Name? Gilmore. Gilmore. <laughs> yeah. The Gilmores. Calvin Gilmore, and, uh, and, and this is Calvin Gilmore Theater right here. That Would that be him? That's the man. That is Calvin Gilmore behind us, looking at us, a making lot of sure. Folks to him yeah, this time. <laughs> making sure we don't trash his theater, oh, right? Absolutely, absolutely. We're gonna go backstage to see how the musicians live, right before the shows and in between the sets and before they go home. So after these messages, we'll be right back. Welcome to Wingding. With a variety of services to offer, we are an end-to-end, one-stop shop for digital media production and distribution. Our company originated in podcasting, video production, and digital marketing space, affording us a solid background for growing your brand through media distribution. Contact us at wingdang.tv so we can do what we do for you. Dancers, lighting, costume, all of it is top-notch all the time, and I don't know that I've ever seen anything quite like that anywhere else in the country. You need to come see us. You'll have the best time of your life, I promise. Oh man, I can't wait to see this. This brings back memories. Oh right. yeah. I remember the clothes racks, the cleaning and all that stuff. Shoes. <laughs> all right, let's show me the let's deal, do man. It, man. Come on. Let's head back this way here. Hold on a second. Is that a that's a Santa sleigh. That's what it is. And you mean to tell me that Santa goes fishing? What is <laughs> well, a... you I've seen everything. Let's right. <laughs> What do you have here? Uh, it's the mon one of the one of the monitor consoles. We all also run off these mind mixes setups, but it's uh, it's kind of the baby brother to the main console. Nice because, setup. Uh, Looks like something you see in a James Bond movie, huh? Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Hey, man. Yeah, man. Uh, what do you guys dress? Uh, right in here. 
This is one of the male dressing rooms. Oh, cool. Yep. It's like a locker room, a football, we professional got, uh, football. In here, we actually only have about four cast members, but it's big because of some of the acts that we get through. They they have a need for the larger uh Oh, yeah, space. absolutely. So between this one and the, we probably have about five or six more dressing rooms this size. Right. That, that well, would they let us check those out too? Oh, yeah, sure. Cool. Let's check those out. We're going to see where the money gets dressed. Yeah, all right. Again, tons of. Oh, cool. This will be able to accommodate. Is this a Grinch out. suit? It is. This is a Grinch. That's one of them. There's probably a few more floating around here somewhere. All right. Grinch is a big number. You can't have us. Christmas without the Grinch. Oh, got to have it. All right. Well, whose dressing room is this? This is mainly uh, all that, the clogging group, and uh, oh, okay. uh, maybe one or two of the other performers. Okay. I don't like that. I, I don't you. like that right there on the floor there. They're, those are weights. And <laughs> yeah, that's got to go. I'm, I'm allergic to weightlifting. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson. Right. Uh, man, look at all this history on the wall. Absolutely. Dude. And uh, ooh, what's this? The Dixie Jubilee. That was the third show that he opened up in North Myrtle Beach. He had, at one point, he had three different shows going. The, uh, uh, the Carolina Opry had moved up here, and he opened uh, Southern Country Nights in that theater in Surfside while he had the Dixie Jubilee going on the North End. So oh, nice. A, definitely a production Dude, powerhouse. Yeah, so. this guy really loved putting on a show, dude. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, look at this. Look at this. Uh, costumes. This Man, this brings back so many memories. Oh, I bet so with the, <clears throat> the boas, boas and, and things like that. And the head yeah. Dresses. Yeah. And I know in between set changes and all, everybody's all packed up and trying to be out of everybody's way. And yeah, well, you know, it's, that's a whole different choreography that goes yeah, on back here. Yeah, absolutely, you know, again, absolutely. Once you figure out how to move through the show backstage, if you all just right. stick to it, everybody stays out of the and way. And this is the other side yep. of the stage where... It's a quick change area for some dancers who got to do it Quick change. Fast. Here's a big prop room we have. This is the prop room and... I, I guess where you bring in equipment in and out right. right there to the dock. Like I said, we have those acts that come through. And, yeah. Uh, they'll, uh, they'll load in and out of there. Oh, well, who's this gentleman? The president of the company, Mr. Dave Olive. Hey, nice, nice, to nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Mitchell you. Anthony. Welcome to the Carolina Mitchell. Opera. And nice that, that, that's my partner, Jay, behind the camera. Hey, Jay. Well, thanks for having us. This well, thanks is, for being this here. This has definitely been a treat. Definitely been a treat. Well, uh, you guys... It's oh yeah, Kevin's else, the man. Oh man, Kevin's well, the man. You guys run a tight reason. operation, I understand. Well, thank you. It's a and that's, great, great facility. That's the only way to make this stuff work right. Every exactly. night, night after night, night after night. Yeah. We yeah. want the next show to be better than the last. Exactly. That's well, I got goal. you. I got you. Well, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go check out the rest of the stage. Hey, we'd love to have you do it. Hey, Let's thank do it. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow, this is awesome. And this is the stage that moves that. That rotates the piano player. The piano turns, completely goes away, turns into waterfall of steps, makes nice. a nice entrance for the cast to come in and out. This is awesome. Now Kevin leads us, takes yep. care of all our music. Well, Kevin's the Amazing. man. He is. He's got yeah. like. <laughs> Uh, he's a professor and, and going to college at the same time. Uh, fortunately, yeah. that's all done. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I've graduated. Congratulations, too. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Shows his love of music from oh, top yeah. to the bottom. Yeah. Cool. Well, everybody, you've seen backstage. You've seen a little bit of the stage. When we come back, we're going to be talking to Kevin about Kevin. This is Signature Licks. Dancers, lighting, costume, all of it is top notch all the time, and I don't know that I've ever seen anything quite like that anywhere else in the country. You need to come see us. You have the best time of your life, I promise.
Hey everybody, we're back, Signature Licks. This is Blackfoot, and I'm with Kevin Hughes, the musical director at the Carolina Opry. Man, isn't it beautiful? Nate, the light man, came in and helped us out today. It really looks good. I mean, if you guys get a chance to come see the Christmas show, come, please. This is, this is an awesome theater. So Kevin, man, we talked about the theater. Right. We gave everybody a look backstage. Um, tell us about you, man. Um, how did how did you get started in music in general? Oh well, you know, mom had a piano at the house, and uh, I'd always sit down and play that after I got home from school, just kind of picking out things that I heard on TV, playing by ear. Right. Uh, she got home from work one day, and I'd I'd heard this music box dancer thing on the TV for this Kato Records that they were going to sell back in the day. <laughs> I kind of picked that out. Fortunately, it was in C. So when 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 she got home, she was like, "How in the heck did you learn to play that?" I went, "What well, was on the TV?" You yeah. know. And, so that's kind of where, you know, my first, uh, where the love of music was really kind of instilled in me, just sitting and playing mom's piano there at the house. Right. Yeah. Right. I hear it, man. My, mine was playing other people's stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Until yeah. I could get some stuff. Right. But uh, after that, did you, I mean, you did a high school band and all that I stuff. Did, yeah. And uh, um, college. I played some guitar, uh, uh, you know, some acoustic guitar and things like that growing up and got in the, high, uh, the junior high school band about seventh grade and was doing some trombone. Okay. And then I switched over to baritone horn so I could learn the bass. Well, that makes the, sense. With oh, the, yeah. yeah. With the bass thing. And yeah. yeah, exactly. Reading the bass clef music yep. and stuff like that. So. And the tone. You like that tone. Purveying low end. Man. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I love it, too. I love so, it, too. And, bass is a natural transition for that, you know? Yeah. Uh, what's up, once I got a hold of that, yeah. first time I heard a, a, a bass player live, and uh, it was so much power. And then at one point, his cable messed up. Mm. And... All the, all the low end went away. And he, then he did something and it came back, but it was just that indicator for me right there. Wow, the bass has quite the, quite the responsibility. Absolutely. I, I mean, it's, it's everything. Absolutely. You know, so it's like, it's, on, it's like a rock, a, a rock or metal song, whenever they hit them chords like that, if oh, that yeah. low tone ain't there, it's not as meaty. Exactly. You know, it's like, it's like a, it's like a Mustang 5.0 having like a four cylinder. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's a good analogy. Yeah. But uh, okay, after you get to that point, you started playing in bands. Right, right. Uh, in my hometown, we, you know, I had a high school band that I played with. We did some talent shows and things at school and a couple different dances and things like that. But it wasn't anything you could do seriously, Not, nothing you could do professionally. You right. Know, like, what are we going to do when we graduate? That Hence thing. Garage. Exactly, exactly. Garage band. So uh, I happened to moved down to Myrtle Beach the day after I graduated high school. My brother was already down here. He was stationed in the Air Force. Oh, okay. The Air Force Base for Mark Right, Davis. right. And uh, I guess that was my original plan, was to possibly join the Air Force out of Myrtle Beach. But uh, I got a job playing the second night I was here. And that's been going on 36 years now. Nice, <laughs> nice. So it's safe to say a lot of people know Kevin. And Kevin knows a lot of people Correct, here. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, I've, I've been here since 87. And, uh, 87. That's when I graduated. Oh, yeah, there you go. Wait a minute. You, we, we're the same age. That's Absolutely right. That's right. Age. That's right. Yeah. You got grandkids? <laughs> no, not yet. I know. Kevin has just become a grandfather this week. First time. I can't believe it. And he wants to be called, just so the whole world knows, <laughs> Grandfather Hughes. Grandfather Hughes. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to say it in the baritone voice. <laughs> well, okay. Kevin, um, Let's see, you've been here for so long, you have a son that actually took your old job that you were MD in at um, uh, the Legends. The Legends. Yeah. And uh, well, tell us about him. Tell uh, us a little bit about him. He's, uh, his name's Tyler and he graduated from Coastal in 2018. Okay. With a, with a degree in, in commercial music and jazz. And right out of there, he was looking for different gigs. Uh, the, the bass player spot came open at, at Legends. Right. And he auditioned and got that job. And then... Uh, so he was working for you? He no, no, no. I, I, I left in, in in 2000. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I got so, you. Okay. Yeah. So it wasn't a quick transition? No, no. There, okay. there, there, there were several, about 20 years in between, I guess. I, really? Well, I, I worked there from wow. 95 to 2000, and I came here in 2000. Okay, got you. So... And then he he started there, I guess, in 2019. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But he does have that old gig that Dad used to have. And some of the performers are the same too, and they remember me, and 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 they're they're pretty uh, cool. I, to be working well, with my son. I know I've seen him around town playing. Oh yeah. And I'm like that dude's bad. And we did we did a jam together, and uh, 
I was like, that guy reminds me of Kevin Hughes. <laughs> and then I figured out it was Kevin's son. So that made all the sense in the world. Now, once you started here, uh, what was the feeling that you had whenever you got this gig and once you started working with everyone after a while? You know, Carolina Opry is, 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 is the flagship show here in Myrtle Beach. And it, it, for as long as I've been here, it always has been. So yeah. I, uh, I was working, you know, in different, different, different gigs and things with some of the band members who were here. And when the bass player gig became available, you know, it was just kind of a natural transition for me to come up here and do it. But it, it didn't diminish how important that I, that, that, that was to me yeah. you know, just to finally be able to come up here and play yeah. in this establishment. And, yeah. you know, I've been here 22 years now. Uh, this is uh, my 23rd Christmas show. Mm. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I'm probably going to stick it out for Yeah, I think you will. I think you will. Um, th this is a prime example of uh, how musicians' dreams can be met. They can, they can, they can achieve them. Um, and if they stick with it, Okay, um, a lot of guys, they, they're, they're un, 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 unfortunately, they have to get these jobs and go a different direction and, and, and be miserable the rest of their life whenever they know they need to be doing this. So if you have this itch that you have to play music, you're never too old to do that. Absolutely. And, and this is what happens whenever you find your niche. Okay, you'll stick with it. I mean, come on, you're playing for a living for 22 plus years. Right. You know, me, I've been playing. Well, basically, we've been, both been playing for about 33, 35 years. Exactly. OK, it's something else. I mean, there's ups and there's downs like anything else. But hey, you're your own boss. That's right. You're your own boss. Anybody else? They, they, they think they're your boss, but you're contracted. <laughs> That's exactly it. Well, uh, Kevin, we are going to. We're going to play together. Okay. Kevin and I, we're going to do a little something together, and he's going to show me some of his jazz chops okay. or some funk chops. I don't know, but I'm going to play drums. That's a killer drum set back there. Thank you, Brian, just to give you a shout-out, right buddy. Thank you, but when we come back, we're going to hear what Kevin's signature lick is. This is Signature Licks. Welcome to Wingding. With a variety of services to offer, we are an end-to-end, one-stop shop for digital media production and distribution. Our company originated in podcasting, video production, and digital marketing space, affording us a solid background for growing your brand through media distribution. Contact us at wingdang.tv so we can do what we do for you.
come see us. You'll have the best time of your life, I promise.